Yo, what is going on guys and welcome to a new video and today we're going to be talking about my settings from my headset all the way to my controller settings and my in-game settings. So let's get right into it. Let's get into the in-game settings first. All right, so here gameplay invites only. I don't want no nobody to join my, you know, my lobbies without me inviting them. Match preference, I only have it on uh, bomb. Yeah, bomb only. Ra I think you can only play bomb ranked on bomb nowadays. Anyways, uh, T hunt, I have it on classic and protect hostage, and all the maps are on. I just play every single map. So here, I don't think anything is really important over here. You guys can just copy it how it is. All right, let's get into the audio settings, which is pretty standard, to be honest. You guys can just copy it. The only thing that I do want to talk about here is the dynamic range. So uh, I, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure which one is the best one. I just keep it on TV just because I've actually seen a pro player play on TV. So I thought like, yo, if he's a pro player, he might be doing something right. So I just copied what he had on. The only thing that makes my game sound a little bit different to yours is probably my astro setting so these are astros that i'm wearing right now and they have like this little mix amp right here and they have this amazing feature right here and with these four bars they're right here and there you guys can actually change your sound settings which i have uh, on the four lines if you guys have your mix amp it's the four li four lines over here and i have it on the top left corner which makes it uh that the sound shots are quieter than the surrounding sound so you, you hear footsteps and all that a lot better that's only for the people that have astros if you guys don't have astros just keep it on tv it doesn't really matter i guess it's really up to you guys all right, since we're done with our audio settings, let's get into the video settings. So right here, I have V-Sync off. The reason why I have V-Sync off is so, I guess it doesn't lag as much when I play T-Hunt. I, I see a lot of people that always ask like, dude, why is my T-Hunt always lagging? That's probably because you have V-Sync on. So just turn that off and your T-Hunt should be better than before. Brightness is on 50. You get also personal preference. You guys can turn this up or down. It doesn't really matter. All right, since we're done with all of this stuff, let's get into the most asked for part, which are my controls. All right, so here are all my controls. You guys can just copy them. If you guys uh, want to try them out. I, I wouldn't really recommend using these settings because everyone has different thumbs. Everyone has a different feeling to their controller. So just find your own settings. But I'm just going to go through it uh, and explain how sensitivity works in this game. I'll At least I'll try. All right, so what you have to remember is that your aim down no okay your horizontal and your vertical sensitivity is a percentage of your aim down sights sensitivity whenever you're looking down your sights so uh the best way i i mean i already tried to explain this once but i'm actually only using 90 percent uh of my horizontal sensitivity whenever i'm aiming in out of those 38 points i just call them points all right and uh whenever i'm aiming down my sights i'm actually only using 34 percent out of those 38 points that i have on my aim down sights i hope that makes any sense if it doesn't i would recommend go watch another vid video where someone explains it better they're probably a ton of people that can exp uh, explain it a lot better than me anyways let's talk about my dead zones all right so i used to have my dead zones pretty far up but because i lowered my sensitivity i used to have it a lot higher and that's why i played my dead zones pretty high and because i lowered my sensitivity i lo also lowered my dead zones i feel like i can flick a lot better now and all that stuff but all as i said before it's all personal preference control rotation i have it on classic i didn't really touch updated i tried it out didn't go my way i absolutely hated it didn't really bother with it to be honest because i'm so used to classic that's why i just stayed with classic aim assist off you only have aim assist in t-hunt so whenever you're trying to warm up in t-hunt you don't want to have any aim assist you know because once you get into ranked or casual you you're not gonna have any aim assist so you shouldn't be warming up with aim assist all right that's that's about it for this part gadget deployment on toggle drone deployment on advanced 
controller layout is on default and yeah that's pretty much it for my settings all right so now let's talk about the controller settings a lot of people always ask me do you play with a scuff do you play with a you know claw or anything like that i don't play claw nor do i have a scuff i play with a normal controller and the way i you know i crouch and i shoot and all that has to do with my controller settings and you guys can do this by yourself this is so easy to do only thing you guys need to do is go to settings after that go to accessibilities i know my face cam is kind of blocking it but you know just bear with me then after you're at accessibilities you scroll down to button assignment here you can change your entire controller the button layout everything you guys want to do all right so the way you do it you go to uh, cu customize button assignment and here you guys can change everything so i'll show you guys how to do this uh, i'll just reset everything so here you can ch literally do anything you can change your circle to x you can change your triangle to l1 you can even shoot with one of your arrows here if you guys really want that but obviously that's not re very recommended so i'm just gonna go back and show you my settings that i have on right now so i switched my shooting to these top triggers right here uh let me do that right now so right now i changed my top trigger so i shoot with l1 and r1 now uh, i crouch with r2 all right so the way you change this you just go here to the circle and you go to r i think it's r1 it's r1 yeah okay and now you change everything so you crouch with r1 shoot with the top triggers that's the way i have it i know actually a lot of like competitive uh, ps4 players only have those type of settings like they sometimes shoot with the bottom triggers but they crouch with one of the top triggers or have it the other way around just find the way you guys uh, you know like it the most uh that's the way i like it and that's how i'm just gonna continue playing to be honest and yeah it's all personal preference and i would re very much recommend you guys getting used to this if you guys don't have a scuff or anything like that all right last but not least let's talk about these bad boys right here without these things i will not be able to aim the way i'm aiming right now so these are control freaks and these are the highest ones you can possibly get uh, you can get like lower ones medium ones or the highest ones which are these these are called infernos and these are i mean it took me like a week to get used to and after that i'm i couldn't play without them uh, so i'd very much recommend getting these guys i used to play them only on one stick but then i put on the second one after a while and it felt so good it trust me it's so nice obviously it's personal preference if you only want to play it on one side go for it but what i would do what i would recommend is obviously play the control freak on the stick that you want to aim with to get more control all right i think that's going to be it from me i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if it helped you guys please leave a like and subscribe and yeah that's pretty much going to be it uh, i know you guys have uh, been asking about this video for the longest time ever so here you guys have it and if you guys watched the entire video please let me know by typing in 317 just like my level just like my level look in the top right corner type that in the comment section below so i know you guys watched the entire video anyways uh that's gonna be it for me i love every single one of you so have a beautiful day night evening whatever it is for you guys and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out